Day three of the trip was Universal Studios, the only day that we would be able to go there. But we were able to make the entire area, so let's get started. Well, we started off in Hero Town, and uh, our first ride was uh, Spider-Man. Uh, the 3D Adventure, and we started to realize that the boys did not enjoy the 3D Adventures like we thought they would. Instead, they really liked roller coasters. Spider-Man! Are you ready to get Spider-Man, buddy? And here, we went to the comic sections. Here's a couple of uh, pictures and, uh, of the area. There weren't many rides to go on, but there were some cool shops, but we didn't have time to go. Just a list. Hagar with the waterfall, one of my old favorite ones. Might actually have to get a Hagar thing for me. It's time to go to Jurassic Park. No, he's... So, what ride did we just get off of? The Pterodon Grotto. Did you have a lot of fun? What did, what did you do? I swing. And did, did we swing back and forth across the area? Was that awesome? Yeah. What, buddy? Pterodon glider. Oh. Here, why don't we wait here? It's dark. Yeah, well, let's wait right here, though. Can I wait on the Uh, you can wait right, just wait right here. Oh, wow, that's cool, isn't it? There's Jacob coming off the ride. I'm not enjoying it. Next to the fire club. Hey, Jacob. How did he do? He never wants to do it again. <laughs> and here's the playground that is right next to the top of the flyers, which is actually a great idea. And uh, I do feel the university does a much Wait. better job than Disney. Uh, James, I'm here. As it allows kids who would normally be James, I'm here, go! Unwind some steam after some pretty long nights. Here is the Jurassic World, I would say, kind of like interactive center. Uh, 
those uh, gaming ceremony, which we got to pictures. All right, let's get in. Rare. Wish families don't usually get picked that often. Also, we look there on top of it to the other cool things that are trying to take some photos out there for the interactive. And the boys must be a little bit of a source of the interaction. And also, we want to be because we want to be a stuff. Hey, is anyone able to identify the species? During this time, either back here in our nursery or below your feet in our brood house. And so some days she's able to run a pack, right? The ultimate goal, but this can also present one of our more uh, unique challenges here in the park. Introducing the newborn. Hey, you guys look creative. Can you help me with something? She still needs a name, right? Oh. I'm not very creative. I'm a STEM maker, right? So do the two of you have any good baby names? Hello. But for the rest of us, I Jacob did. James. You gotta go talk to her real quick. Who named Shredder? Jacob. Jacob, is it J-A-C-O-B? Yeah. Alright, Jacob. Jacob, this is your certificate of birth of your baby. And here are some pictures of the uh, dino naming ceremony that uh, I did not take, but Sarah did, and uh, much better than my really shoddy camera work. It was a pretty uh, long day, so I do apologize for that. But overall, it's a pretty rare event, and now uh, Jacob and James have a dinosaur at Orlando that they can check up on and see how uh, he or she is doing. I'm not sure exactly if Shredder is a boy or girl. Hit the other button. Jake, Jake, this one. Remember to keep your part ticking if you at all times. Okay, buddy. We gotta go, bud. No blue. No. Okay, you are you are gonna wanna get to scampering! Scamper! Good scamper. From here on out, we're gonna be going into Hogwarts which is one of the best areas I feel uh, for some pretty cool things, especially for kids who are into Harry Potter. Jacob wanted a wand, and we will see a wand ceremony where he gets chosen afterwards, and uh, I have that as part of the video here as well. Um, we are not getting into the rides, unfortunately, because uh, they are a little bit too much for me to hold on to my phone. And for one of them, especially the 3D ride, Jacob got very, very scared at the very end. And uh, we will not be showing that part either, only because of how afraid he was. So this was kind of the biggest hits and the biggest misses of the overall trip. Um, so Jacob did get a wand, which you will show. And James got an owl, which was really, really cool. Uh, but it was not his favorite stuffy, as uh, we might show that a little later, uh, which uh, we got at Universal as well. To all the vanders, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. No flash, no flash. I didn't, I'm sorry. Would you stay and speak with me after? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'd like to meet your family. Oh, okay. Sarah got in trouble for that one. Hee <laughs> hee. Here is Jacob getting his wand ceremony, especially just for us. This wand has chosen you, and it has been a bash. Perfect for a wizard who is very prosperous, with prophetic dreams and a healing touch. Your wand has as a core a unicorn hair, which means your charismatic charm is going to help you on your way. My assistant will answer any questions you have concerning your wand options. Remember, Sibia, this wand has chosen you. And you alone. The wand learns from the wizard and the wizard from the wand. Yes? Excellent. Use its power wisely. Off you go. Of course, you may all peruse our entire collection of Ollivander wands through either of these doors. Thank you for selecting Ollivander. Then you 
must be James, yes? Yes. Yeah. I was wondering when I might see you two. Now, are you both interested in finding your wands today? Yes. Tell me how no. old you are. Seven. You're seven? And James, were you looking for a wand as well? No. No, you're not interested in a wand? Well, I must tell you, Jacob. Are you sure? Are you sure? I think you might be. I think you're just nervous. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> when you know, you know. Well, Jacob. You know that you're only seven years old. Now, typically, a, a wizard doesn't get his powers and get his wand until he turns 11 and gets his owl. But I know that you are hoping to get your wand today. So I think we can get you a practice wand, all right? Now, let me see what we can find for you. Tell me, when is your birthday? May 29th. Interesting. May birthdays usually have a great affinity towards the wand of Hawthorne. But I think for you, I'd rather try a wand of Ivy. 13 inches long, wow. flexible, with a phoenix tail feather cord. Try this. <laughs> we got that right on the first try. Excellent. Now, Jacob, this wand is made of ivy, and it is perfect for a wizard who is strong and determined, very resilient. You know what that means? You never give up. And also, values lifelong relationships. Now this particular wand has a phoenix tail feather, which means you are truly destined to make a mark. May I? <laughs> My assistant is going to answer any questions for you, but I must remind you that you're underage, so promise me you'll only do magic indoors until you turn 11 and get your owl, all right? We can't yeah. have underage wizards running around the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very well, my friend. What do James, you say? When you're ready, you come back and we'll find your wand as well. All okay. right. You okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're quite welcome, my friend. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Oh, this way, this way, this way. Jacob, Jacob, this way. Sorry. James, you did very well. <laughs> Twins. You oh, never know. Lovely. Yes. And here's James is with his owl, as I say, one of his favorite animals uh, for a few hours. <laughs> and Jacob testing his wand, which you'll see one of these spells here as well, which is pretty cool. These were a little difficult uh, to do, uh, but these were supposed to pop up and down a little bit, and unfortunately uh, the lines were actually longer for us to do these spells than they were to do the ride, so we didn't really get to test it too, out too often. The next time we come though, we will definitely try and do that again. Next area was the Dr. Seuss. Uh, this is a kid's area, and uh, these rides were a little young for the boys, but after some of the scary rides, we really needed to get them back into some uh, mojo and groove, and this really did hit the spot. And because these rides were gentler, uh, I will try and give some uh, pictures and video of each of the rides that we went on as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. So the first uh, ride is one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. James and myself did not get wet, while well, Jacob got himself and Sarah very, very wet. Uh, this was a pretty good ride after doing all of Hogwarts, as, to be quite honest, they got really, really scared with the 3D Harry Potter ride. So this got everything going back to normal. Are you going to get us wet, James? No or yes? No. No? A warning. Supervise children. So I'm going to supervise you. And if you get us wet, I'm going to Your eat you. Your fish is now beginning. Please remain seated and enjoy Am I your going swimming. to eat you? No? Okay. Hang on tight! Hang on tight! Cause here we go! <laughs> now you can fly, low or high, anywhere, give it a try. 
but beware, for down below, there are creatures there who will soak you head to toe. Well, we might want to be up high. This, all fish that fly, follow me and you'll stay dry. One fish, red fish, up, up, up. Two fish, blue fish, down, down, down. If we stay up, we might get wet, buddy. <laughs> oh no! Oh, we we missed it. But now I bet you might end up a little wet. The choice is yours, fly high or low. Just pick one, you never know. Did you have fun? Do as I tell. Take a big breath and yell. Woo! Did you have fun, buddy? Welcome back. Did you have fun? Friends. Please remain seated until you're. You know the name of the item you're riding, Mr. Jacob? I don't know either. I think it's like a zoo or Zulu or I think it starts with a Z. James, say hi. Next ride was to Carol Susel. Jacob decided to ride on, uh, I think it's Zorn. Uh, let me know in the comments what exactly it is. And James wanted just to ride on a bench. So this was another nice one, but as a kid, I always loved the carousels myself. So I understand why we always go to a carousel every time we go to a park. Thank you. Th that's your choice. Honestly, I think you should hold on to the handles. Do you love carousels? James, do you love carousels? Oh, we're going, bud. Next is the ride, the high in the sky Seuss train trolley ride. Uh, this was actually pretty nice and 
being able to see all of the Dr. Seuss land, and I hope you guys enjoy as I did take a decent amount of pictures as long as well here. Are you ready to ride the choo-choo train? Buddy. Next was the train from Hogwarts to The Simpsons, which is basically crossing the two parks of Universal. Uh, this is a huge time saver as long as uh, you have a fast pass, otherwise it's a fairly long one. And also here's James with Light Fury. Uh-oh. It's on camera. Here's the Simpsons ride, uh, the only one that we really went on here. Uh, not a really big area for the boys, but enjoy. Are you gonna be, Jacob, are you gonna be doing the driving? Yeah. Which way are we gonna go more, up or down? I don't know, but I don't wanna get the same thing that happened. Okay. As you can tell by my uh -oh. voice, I'm missing James. Where's James? Please fasten your seatbelts and remain seated. Just relax and enjoy the false sincerity of everything I'm saying. It's a step nothing. 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 
You suspect something? What do you suspect? I see. We are evil aliens. I laugh at your stupidity. <laughs> The only way to get out of here is to help us attack Springfield. Oh, get us up. Your fellow humans. You like it. We do. Let your spaceship do the work. Put your tentacles into it. Do we want to go down? Which can is their face? Yes, we're going up. Did you have fun? Jacob, did you have fun? Cool. We then went to Curious George where the boys had a ball, or as you can see, a lot of balls. And then we got ready for the parade, which honestly the boys liked the most, even more than Disney. And after this, please enjoy the entire parade. Happy Holidays! It's <laughs> despicable me! We got snowman coming. Snowman. And we got stilt walkers, guys. This is really hard to do. Well, look at the big balloons.
<laughs> Merry Christmas. Is that a banana? Look at all the minions, buddy. Happy Holidays! The penguins! King Julian. Look at that. 
the rest of the Madagascar crew, guys. Gingerbread man! Blind mice. No. Jacob. Jake, I will take away him. I'm sorry. That was a mistake, okay? That was a mistake by Daddy. Ah. It's Donkey!
Afterwards, we left, went back to Give Kids the World, and James wanted to show Jacob all the buttons. So here is the model train station up close. You can see all the cool things. Hey guys, why don't you get one of the trains going? It's on the other, oh, there's the train. Jacob, look at this train. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Look at the train here. It goes over the door. There's more buttons, buddy. Jacob, more buttons. <laughs> 